The MX-5, also known as the Roadster or Miata in some markets, is a personal favourite here at the Miles Driven, but as usual we'll keep our bias to ourselves throughout the guide until we discuss our hot picks at the end of the video. The third generation was coded NC, although buyers should note three distinct sub-generations within the model. These are the early models produced from 2005 to 2008, a facelift in 2008 to 2012, and a 2013 model year update that took the MX-5 into its final years of production before its replacement by the fourth generation in 2015. There are several distinct aspects to this generation that were a first for the small sports car, including the introduction of an optional folding metal roof and a two liter engine. And it was also able to share the Mazda design language on facelift models with a front grille and headlights dubbed the smiling face, which were common on the rest of the range, including the late Mazda RX-8 R3. Produced in Hiroshima, Japan, not all models remained as they left the factory, with many going on to become special editions or modified in local markets for sale from dealers. This openness to the aftermarket and partnerships with respected race companies is something rarely seen in the automotive world and added an overall desirability to the car, whether looking for a base model or one that could battle on track with much more expensive metal. As for Mazda Special Editions, there are quite a number with variations across the world, but a few highlights include the launch edition of which 3,500 were offered across the world, the UK getting 300 allocations and the USA getting 750. The USA and Canada got another limited run special edition in 2008, with icy blue paintwork, saddle brown folding top and chrome detailing. Meanwhile, Europe got the nice Echo that was offered in the same year as the last farewell of the pre-facelift model. In 2009, the MX-5 celebrated 20 years of production with the 20th Roadster anniversary and a 20th anniversary edition. In 2012, two limited run offerings named Miata Special Edition were produced for the USA and Canada, while the UK received the Kuro edition. All three were limited to below 1,000 units in each respective market. While UK buyers then had two exciting models in the turbocharged BBR GT270 model limited to 100 cars, and the 203 brake horsepower Jota MX-5 GT offered through a single dealer, the world was waiting on the next milestone for the MX-5, the 2014 25th anniversary edition, limited to 1,099 units. Upgrades included a lightened flywheel and forged crankshaft. Allocations were quickly swept up by dealers across the world, with the USA market models all spoken for within 10 minutes of order books opening. We'll come onto the engines later on in the guide, but it's worth noting that the choices are limited to a 1.8 litre and 2 litre engine with 5 speed and 6 speed manual gearbox, as well as a rather unpopular automatic. When searching, we would suggest avoiding the automatic models unless you're unable to drive with a manual gearbox, as one of the enjoyments of driving an MX-5 is shifting the mechanism that has a direct and fairly short throw, but rewards shift changes with a precision that is rarely felt in a car of this budget. Although Mazda has a good reputation for reliability and longevity, there are still areas to look out for when considering a purchase. There was a single recall on the NC Generation MX-5 between December 2005 to February 2006. This was for airbags that could fracture the horn mechanism if triggered in cold conditions. Aside from this, a variety of service bulletins were released. The first of these were for US registered vehicles that needed the lock pin or its locator for the VVT system on two liter engines inspected. Water ingress in the front of the convertible top and water in the footwell were both noticed in a variety of VIN numbers with a soft top hood. Noise from the differentials was one of the last service bulletins released. This was again for US models and was detected by owners reporting clunks or buzzing noises when first setting off from a stop. Carrying on from the differential service bulletin, owners across the world have reported a whine from the differential that is usually a sign of worn gear worms inside the differential. A rebuild should be budgeted for if you hear this sound on a test drive. Any hesitation or cough from the engine when pressing the throttle to the floor can be a problem with the fuel system. With a replacement fuel pump or fuel lines a possible cause, but a contaminated throttle body is the more likely cause. If buying an MX-5 that has not been driven for an extended period of time, then calipers can seize to check to make sure the brakes engage and disengage. If you hear a clutch pedal that squeaks, then the most likely culprit is the starter interlock switch, an updated part, part number NE5566DD. 
zero should resolve this issue. Although the manual transmission can be one of the most engaging aspects of the MX-5, you should expect shifting from first to second gear to be stiff when cold. However, once the vehicle is warmed up, this should mostly free up. If second gear continues to be difficult to engage, then expect a clutch replacement or an investigation into the gearbox, as a previous owner may have continually forced the gear to engage and then crunch the meshing on second gear to the point that it needs rebuilding. When looking to purchase an MX-5, remember that the joy is in the handling. To maintain this, the anti-roll bar links, dampers and suspension springs should be inspected and service records checked for previous replacements. Next up is the engines, but first we can see that less than 2% of our viewers are subscribed to the channel, and so if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and sharing to help others that may find this guide useful. Both engines available in the MX-5 are inline 4-cylinder motors, with the 1.8-litre engine coded MZR, L8, DE, DOHC, and the 2-litre coded MZR, LF, VE, DOHC. Power output ranges from 126 brake horsepower on the 1.8 litre to either 158 brake horsepower in Europe and Australia or 170 brake horsepower in the USA on the 2 litre motor. Average fuel economy ranges from 38.7 miles per gallon on the 1.8 litre to 37.2 miles per gallon on the 2 litre. This is 7.39 litres per 100 kilometres to 7.59 litres per 100 kilometres. There are a low number of engine issues across the 1.8 and 2 litre engines. One is a small number of units requiring rod bearing replacement. Production from late 2006 to early 2008 either had casting issues or material issues. However, these generally hold up well and few owners have reported failure, but those looking to buy and keep them for the long term may want to get them inspected at some point. It should also be noted that until early 2007, the engines were produced with friction washers on the crankshaft and camshaft at the interface with the sprockets and balancers. However, this is only known to cause an issue on engines driven hard on a consistent basis or with heavy track use and tuning. Those looking to modify an MX-5 for power generally look for a 2009 model onwards. An engine management light that shows code P0455 is likely due to poor sealing of the fuel filter or fuel filler cap. A modified fuel cap is part code FEY242250. Camshaft chain tensioner pulleys wearing out are relatively rare, but also inexpensive and easy to replace as preventative maintenance. Lastly, you should note that these engines can use some oil in regular use, so keeping a top-up carton of oil and inspecting the oil level at least once a month is advised. For our pick, we would choose the 2-litre 6-speed manual facelift model, and in the UK we'd go for Sport Tech Trim for the heated leather and larger wheels. On a personal note, having sold this generation of MX-5 when it was brand new over a decade ago, it is worth noting that not only did the NC generation increase the performance over the previous generation, but it added an additional space, making it possible for taller and larger drivers to drive an MX-5 in comfort. No doubt any MX-5 will be a joy to own, but the NC generation will always be special to me. Seeing an anniversary model in the centre of the showroom when you're having a bad day never failed to cheer me up, as I'm sure it would with one in your garage. Since the MX-5 is within the skill level of almost any driver, it is a reminder that a quirky manufacturer out of Japan deserves its worldwide recognition. Mazda have kept the spirit of driving alive for the average Joe, for today and for tomorrow.